unemployment at the moment. Yeah. Yes. Uh, there's an increase of 14.7 percent. Certainly. 1.2 million. Ena ene wamo epe jumai. If you put it uh, in context, you as the youth organizer for NDC, mm -hmm. how would your manifesto capture these youth? Ah epe jumai. We 24 hour economy noa. How how are you going to address it? Apart from it, no, no. And then as you go around, you are talking about things that are, are not going well. Okay, economy. How are dollar and cost petrol bo um and they unemployment have, as I've stated, national health insurance, like infrastructure wise. His excellency has said he's not going to introduce anything new within four years. How would you solve some of these problems? Nanaya, when you talk about Unemployment, and you look at even our manifesto of 2020. Mm. The Anya Friend of People's Manifesto. Our manifesto of 2024 is not ready, but because of where I sit, I'm privileged to some of the things. Because we have a youth committee on a manifesto, mm -hmm. and so they report directly to me. I can assure Obibiara OTM, especially Mebunina from page one of our manifesto, see a launch it to the last page. Every page, every policy talks about how we can create sustainable employment. Yeah, we're employment, like NAPCO, mm -hmm. employment, mm -hmm. like it's not sustainable. We are looking at sustainable employment. Employment, yeah, people, and you, see, you may be employed, but you may not have job satisfaction. We are looking at sustainable employment with job satisfaction. So that oh yeah, Jumana, oh we need that, so we need it. Oh, we say, Jumana, oh yeah, no. Because when you are working and you are not even happy, you still, and most of the people who claim they are unemployed, oh, when you dig deep into the data, there are some with jobs, so. But because there is no job, job satisfaction, they don't even regard themselves as gainfully employed or working. And so we are looking at creating sustainable jobs. Jobs that are rewarding and then also gives you job satisfaction. That is one. From so, where? From where? From, from from within the same economy. Mm. And I'm gonna say every policy page, I had a banner. Once we launch the manifesto, you see. For instance, the big push is not going anywhere, it is coming back. Mm. So if we are going to put ten billion dollars into infrastructure developments, what it simply means is that masons, artisans, carpenters, all that group, people who do mobile regularizer water. And I'm be jam so be a juma or be a yen juma the dada. There be you see when when I'm doing construction, when I decide to do construction here in this premises, what it means is that I'll need carpenters. Yes. What what it means is that because there are people who are carpenters, the artisans who are out there who don't have any jobs. They have the skill. The skill sets are there, mm. but they have no jobs. When we're in governments between two thousand and nine to twenty sixteen, you know they're finding labor intensive jobs. Purposely targeted at people within rural communities that are more skills, no, but could not find jobs. And to say, yeah, yeah, feed that road, sir. Instead of saying, yeah, didn't have big contractors, no, we less time for labor intensive, where the different assemblies supervise. All those things are finding spaces again in our manifesto. So that those small, small people are almost yet properly organized, can also find jobs to do. And you know, the labor intensive jobs, it carries over a span. And the ILO as you said in such a way, say, say, uh, three months. Uh, most of these jobs will run maybe about six, seven months. So mm. that so sustainably, you know, we need to be here. But apart from do? that, apart from that, we are looking at mm. the big push, where we are going to invest in ICT infrastructure. We are going to build technological theme parks. You know, you in baby back in a work cycle. Yeah, where yeah. today the data center and I'll say, is there anything that built it? Okay. The main idea behind it, on by Omato Trapping Pumps, you know, it was supposed to be a technological theme park. And we're able to build three in those in, in the Ghanaian uh, within Ghana, just like the Silicon Valley idea. Not too long ago, Nigeria and the Silicon Valley, Tinibuba yeah, on the Silicon Valley, I launched some joint pro pro project where Silicon Valley is going to push money into the Nigerian ICT space. It was the same concept we had. So we started by building our data center. It was supposed to be a hub for young people to network, incubators, to start. Because the world is driven by AI and ICT today. 
And so we're going to look at how we're going to tap into that sector and create more jobs for people. Sports. No, Pablo, my person will be joining Money, money. Oh, then, then let me listen. Um, creating jobs. Yeah. My person will be over the last eight years, I will be the Akonya. So, in your mind, I will create a yes, still, and that's what I want to do. I mean, it's still employing people. Because if you tell me that you want to create sustainable jobs, yeah. what kind of job did you create in the last eight years? And I'm more and more. Yes, still, now I'm comfortable. That's what I enjoy from it. In, in the last eight years, when we were in governments, if not for anything, with the data from the Ghana Health Services. Mm -hmm. When we increased, when we we're building school blocks, the more school blocks we built, the more teachers we give spaces to, to occupy. When we we're building more hospitals, the more hospitals we we're building, we we're giving spaces to nurses. Which hospital did you build? Which hospital did you complete the commission here? Ah, University of Ghana Hospital, did we not finish and complete? I was there when President Mama commissioned okay. it. That one alone, the Ridge Hospital, the expansion that was done there, did we not complete it? Mm -hmm. The various district hospitals are completed around this country. Do I need to tell you? Why is President Mama called a nation builder? Because of these things. When we decided to say we're taking even away teacher training allowances to remove the quota system, you know what it meant? It meant that more people could find space in the classroom and go and train as teachers. Would you, would you, would you pick that thing back? You see, it's become, a very, it's become a very thorny issue. Mm -hmm as to whether we are going to cancel the allowances or not. But this government has come to introduce the allowances, but it has come with its own problems. You expand the infrastructure in most of these teacher training colleges. Today, a classroom is between a funny part 10, a funny part five, you know why? Because they've introduced the quota system again. So this is something that all of us as a country, we have to start asking ourselves. We have elevated teacher training, those times there is a teacher training schools who are mm. awarded certificates yeah. to colleges of education. So it's become tertiary. Maybe you could invest in your mom alone. Menje mm. allowance be a obizo called tertiary because now we are all tertiary. Yes. That's what the Yemen allowance and some there was a reason for that. I'm coming because that time we didn't have enough teachers. People were not even going there. But now there is a demand for people. People are now nipato from school munya school ni being called. So this is a debate it is not, I'm not a policy maker. Mm. And so I cannot sit here and say, say, yeah, but A or B, it is the sole prerogative of President Mills, like President Mama. Mama. I may, as youth organizer, advise, but as to whether that advice will find space or not, no. But as it stands today, the question Ghanaians and the United States saying was, is it still relevant to pay those allowances? If not, what is the alternative? And then we can together fashion out a way, because you see, we still need teachers. We still need more teachers in the classrooms. Whether we have the capacity to employ those teachers when they graduate is another discussion we must have. But you were clear with this uh, free SHS say you want to review it. Yes, when, when, when we spoke about reviewing free SHS, we spoke about- So would about you review this uh, nursing training allowance, teacher training allowance as well? Georgia Pariano said here. Mm. I don't have the power, and mm. I know JB agrees. I don't have the power to say that I will review. I can't. <laughs> but, but, but you are privy to. No, uh, no, you are even privy and I'm saying, to I manifest to Nibi. I can, I can, I can advise into it. Mm. As to whether that advice. Meaning like you, you wish we will review it. For me, mm. personally, my personal position on teacher training allowances is that if it has become tertiary, rather no. We should make loans easily and readily accessible. The procedures for assessing student loans, no, was a bit cumbersome. We should find a way of making it less cumbersome, which Osha Manifest Nima, we've proposed such a I cannot speak to it because it's not out yet. But we've proposed alternatives of making student loans less cumbersome. We have an issue with nurses. Mm. Brain drain has hit us heavily under this government. Right? Who do you care now? Now who the number of health professionals they figure in our more qua? How do we retain them here? It is good, and President Mama was talking about we exporting some of our nurses, but individuals are profiting of yeah yeah export of your nurses are yeah yeah training your mono, and our more make your more profits. How do we find a balance between training more health professionals because the world needs them? Cuba is training and exporting. It is a way of creating revenue for us as a country. How do we balance it of training more nurses? We don't have to lose the experienced ones 
So how do we balance it? Your training ten nurses, and your ten nurses on my age, my twenty years. Do we lose the twenty years experience and then replace them with the new ones, or we balance it? Oh, yeah, five years, sir. Then you transit. No, biaba. How do we do it? These are things that I believe, say, as a country, we all have to debate on. But I've seen part of our manifesto. Mm -hmm. and him say, there are some in the MAB in that respect. Mm. We will train more nurses for exports. That I can assure you. And as for teachers, the demand for teachers is not as high as self professionals. But we need more teachers to occupy most of our classrooms. That's up to date. Nanaya. When you go out in rural Ghana, we still have classrooms without Mobile teachers. agenda, one, 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 met one, so. Of course, yes. There's a laudable project. Why would we want to abandon it? Healthcare. Hey, critical. It's, you know, if a government has started, you buy a gang of three, President Kufujama, there was no funding. It was not in, there was no budget line for it. President Mills, the budget line for it. Mm -hmm. So why would we abandon the agenda? One, one, one? It's because hey. former president has spoken about it. Said it. Say you're ambitious. Like no. His Excellency, being, why? Being, one, one. Being, being over ambitious doesn't mean say, or say on twasso. What it means is that it has put more burden on the state because if it was planned properly, we had a lot of hospitals under the NDC. A lot of them. So why not Why not complete the existing ones? And then key areas now near here. Because what we did was that we were building chips compounds with, between every six, seven hundred meters. We are now some health care, you know, we're mm. putting chips compounds there. And then we're building district hospitals and regional hospitals. And upgrading the existing regional hospitals now. Next year, elevate you to teaching hospitals in them. And we're doing that. So if you had this money and you wanted to do 101 hospitals, I didn't say 101. One, 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 yes. Why don't you identify the key areas now, a B A you know, and position them? Every government wants to start legacy projects so that at least it didn't be that so. But the existing ones now on now are abandoning you know. Why don't you use the money to finish it? That is why he said it was over ambitious. But he didn't say it's about one to us. Let's look at the uh, education sector. Yeah. Reviewing free SHS. What does it mean? Review means review. Every policy be no or starts here. After two, three years. Yeah, free SHS we can ask. review it's not cancellation. There are two different distinct English words. And for their propaganda and see review ever than a cancellation. Say studio here in after two years of you sitting in this chair. If there is no review, then the station doesn't want to grow. Mm. Because what it does yeah, is yeah, that yeah, in two years ago. Exactly. Review now is a I started policy, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at the beginning of every policy, we are your friend is eating problems. It's, you know, where two Nike are crowned, it's a, hey, yeah, yeah, we sank a bay, yeah. And then feeding is a big challenge in our secondary schools because of free SHS. Feeding. School, school feeding? No, feeding. Feeding is feeding, feeding. One, one, one hot meal a day for, for the students no, 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 even and the also students. the bodies bodies schools no, they are feeding they are feeding but they were planting for food and jobs which is providing more food for the schools oh, oh JV are they in country and in blue <laughs> are you not we, uh, have you had headmasters two days ago dropper headmaster complaining he, he doesn't have no food in the storeroom to feed the students uh, uh, buffer stock buffer stock providing. and they provide feeding is a big problem that uh, so if you are going to do a review you'll be looking at these things are you going to do free SHS and look at feeding, say, parents now, will parents support? Because not too long ago, we've heard people in government saying, say, even the finance minister, where came for after, saying, say, it is time parents begin to contribute to free SHS. And so when you are reviewing it, it's a broader policy. Yeah, you know, it's not easy Which to aspect are you looking at? For the review. That's a review, but which aspect? Curriculum. Are you going to let people... Those who can pay fees. No, but pay. review is not just about paying of fees. So mm. the curriculum will have to be reviewed. After because I'm a producer. Is I'm it from three years to four years? No, no. You see, when I say curriculum, I, I'm not even talking about duration. Okay. We are looking at first first batch of real secondary school, a uh, real university. Mm. I'm performance not the same. Have you heard the investor say that they want to introduce entrance exams again mm -hmm. because the standards are low? I'm about the standards are low. Why is the investors? Why are the vice chancellor saying this? So I said, then it means something is not right. The contact hours now, between the teacher and the students, 
I could not go through two weeks. I bet you three months. All these things are things you need to look at when you talk about review. Because contact hours is critical. In this Akwadaniko school, two weeks. Near man a vacation, three months no better than fear. We need that two weeks for the day aqua. Knowledge when you are. Three months no better than if you're not a year day. The ownership system is still going on in our secondary schools. Yeah. Is that what some. we want? It's still going on, some or not. Because we've never had shift system until the introduction of free SHS in secondary schools. We were abandoning shift system here and the shift system all basic schools. Mm -hmm. And now we find it happening here. So how are we going to review it? Even our universities are now doing shift system, some of the schools, because of the numbers now in red, you know. So how are we going to put infrastructures in place? How are we going to build on, especially teacher motivation? Mm. How are we going to look at the teacher? The number of contact hours. Are we going to do extra classes? Why are the uh, vice chancellor uh, committee like say now they need to look at entrance exam because Sanders near Remo, no, they don't really meet the cutoff. What do we have to do to make it better? And that is what review simply means. Mm. Not to cancel anything. And I can assure or this she be a OT and get and beauty and say, President Mama will not cancel. Because let me remind you, I was an MC in government. Yes. The first, the last two years of President Mama's administration, we started progressively free senior high school for day students. You start here, you know, now program the admitted car, say, or by any end in the evidence is clear. The evidence is there. Parliamentary hazard has it. Yes, you start here. Yes. You start here, you know, so, and you know, as I got 25 of the constitution, once the program has started, I can't be a new between about the term. So I say, but what we can do is to review it to make it better. And that is what the NDC consistently, I can say, you buy, 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 you buy,